Hey, what's up everybody? Welcome back to the channel. Thanks so much for checking in. If you get a chance, hit that thumbs up button because it does help me out a lot. Quick overview of what's been going on. So behind me is my wife's Land Cruiser. It's a 1989 62 series. Really, really cool find. It's beautiful inside. But unfortunately, we had the transmission blow out on us. In the previous video, you saw me take it to Canada to meet with my buddy Clinton from Dirt Garage. We repaired this thing on the floor of his shed in probably what was like 12 degrees. You may have noticed that there was a little bit of a lapse in there and I wasn't really sure if I was gonna put this in or not, but because it's kind of like, there's a lot to unpack here with this story and what happened. And I just want to preface all of this with this little piece here to let you guys know that I'm not proud of how it went down. My wife and I were in the RV and I noticed some guys roll up to our truck and we had plugged in a Jackery box and the Jackery box was uh, powering the block heater so that we could fire the truck up. It wouldn't turn on, it was so cold it wouldn't turn on without the Jackery powering the block heater. Well, these guys decided to grab the Jackery box and try to drive away and I saw them doing that and... Yeah, I'm fine. Your hand, I guess, is a little bit Yeah. What happened? So we were in the, we're staying here at a buddy's house. Yeah. We were in the RV and a, a car rolled up all sketchy, slammed their brakes. Um, and I noticed they were stealing something out from under my truck. And it's a battery box, it's about $1,000 worth. Ended up on the hood of the truck, tried to stop them. And uh, they, they took off uh, with me on the hood, slammed the brakes, and then tried to swerve and hit me. And okay. I rolled out of their way. How did your hand get in your I punched their window. Oh. Is that how the windshield broke? Yeah. The gentleman here is going to check you over. I, I, I don't want medical service. Sorry. Are you sure? Yeah, I don't need it. It's, okay. un, it's unnecessary. I'm Perfect. okay. I'm okay. It's, we're shaking up. Obviously, somebody stole something from me, and uh, that's not so okay. So they took off with that yeah, box? Yeah, they got it. Yeah. Okay. And that's why that's why I ended up like trying to punch their window in, which was okay. stupid. But, um, but still. So when you last saw them, which direction did they go? They went this direction. Oh. Yeah, and there was a gal behind them that said she was going to call it in because she saw the whole thing, and I don't know if she got a license plate or what. No. no so she, she just didn't. saw the afterwards. Cool. Okay. Um, you kind of rolling off the hood, and then you kind of taking off. Or is it a female driver? I, I thought it might have been, honestly. And I know it was a male uh, who was in the front seat or in the passenger seat. Okay, so there's two of them. I know it was a male in the passenger seat who took the battery. I almost canceled you guys because I know there's not really not much you can do. Let me grab my recorder. I'll grab a quick statement from you. Um, grab your info just to make sure that I have that. And I'm going to cancel all these guys because they're here. Please do. Yes. <laughs> Good morning. You open the door, I chase after you, you were on the car, it was speeding that way, you were punching it, and then you were on the ground and they were swerving around you, trying to hit you or whatever it was, but I thought that you were gonna die. Alright, I feel like there's some backstory you guys might need here. Um, so we were in the toter home and I was plugging the Jackery in, which, uh, shout out to Jackery by the way, this video is sponsored by Jackery. <laughs> Our Jackery got jacked. So we're, we're sitting in the toter home and I see this car pull up all sketchy. And so I, I see that they're stealing the Jackery from me. And so I run up and I swing the door open to the toter. And as I'm like about to step out, they're peeling out. And it was basically either fall in between them and the toter or jump on their hood. So I jumped on their hood um, and I bashed it in with my fists and uh, they accelerated the car to about 50 and then uh, slammed their brakes and ejected me off the hood and I rolled and uh, they like swerved all crazy. I don't know if they're trying to hit me or not, but they took off. So we just had a nice conversation with Canada's police and um, I've got some, some new wounds. 
us Americans are a little confrontational. You know, with John Wayne, if we caught him, they would just get a slap on the wrist. So, so I told her, I told her, well, I sleep a lot better knowing that they have a broken windshield now and they're going to be panicking, freaking out for the next month thinking they killed a guy. So sorry, Clinton, for the... <laughs> Dude, there's blood everywhere. Probably not the best move ever. Thieves, I don't really like thieves. I don't really take too kindly. This is what happens when you bring a couple of Americans to fucking Canada. You expect us to all be polite and just accept that you're going to take our shit. Even the cops said, and I wish I had caught it on camera. Even she said if they got caught, they would just get a slap on the wrist. So, anyways, let me give you guys a play-by-play. I, I know that was dumb. I could have I could have got a lot more seriously injured, but you just don't take people's shit and just get to get away with it, you know? So here's what we here's what happened. So I just plugged in the Jackery block heater just kind of down there to the block heater. I plugged the Jackery into the block heater, tried to heat this thing up. And then I noticed this car pulls in like this and I can see the guy lifting my jackery off and in my mind I was going to open this door up and grab his door uh, to keep it open so that I could like, I don't know, kick him in the face or something or grab my box or stop him. But as I'm ducking underneath this trying to grab his door, he swings the door shut and I basically just leapt off of one foot onto his hood. <laughs> I landed on the hood. And I just started bashing the hood in, screaming all sorts of profanities. That kind of stuff, you know. You can suck <laughs> they took off. Now that I see it from here, literally, so they peel out, move from, from here to the end of the road down there. About, I don't know, 50 miles per hour, and then slammed their brakes. And uh, ejected me. There's blood everywhere. The joke's on them. Sponsored by Jackery. So... Slippery. So I'll get another one for sure. But uh, they're gonna have to go get a new windshield now. And hopefully they get caught. I really wish I had got the plates, but... I honestly looked up and it's like I didn't see anything. I don't, I don't even know if they had plates. Sweet. Let's do mechanic things. <laughs> oh, dude, there's blood everywhere. <laughs> blood on the door handle on my back door, too. I wish it was their blood. I would bathe in it, Clinton. <laughs> you're, like, in blood. you're like, you're so violent. Very violent. Yeah. Well, I wouldn't have to be doing this freaking malarkey if, it, if I had my jackery. So, like I said at the beginning of the video, I definitely don't condone these actions. Jumping on the hood of their car and trying to bash their windshield in like I was Jason Bourne or something. I did walk away from this. I had a bruised tailbone and injured hand for a while, but the funny part about it is that the, the, the thieves, this is probably the most Canadian thing I've ever heard, they actually... Um, returned the battery, apologized, and asked that I don't pursue them. So uh, I think that me attacking their vehicle had some sort of effect, at least freaked them out, or, or maybe it was just the fact that they this whole thing went down in front of a, an elementary school, and I think they thought that some of it was on camera. I really wish it was, because how cool would it be to actually have footage of me leaping on the hood of this car and, and doing this uh, dumbass thing. But the positive side of all of this is that after an excruciating day, on my bruised tailbone, shoving my torn up hand up into the, the bowels of this Land Cruiser. We actually managed to get the transmission installed and it worked and everything was great and we loaded the thing up. So yeah, it's awesome. The Land Cruiser is working great. It's, it's a really fun family vehicle and I can't wait to start doing more overland camping in it. And uh, that's pretty much it for today's video. Get some work done this week, but... Don't forget to live!